Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're finally going to get to watch the last episode of season one of The Boys. We have been anxiously waiting to do this for like three weeks, no joke, because when we finished episode seven, Achara had to, you know, hightail it out of town over to Thailand, and when she came back, we had to come over here to, well, we're on the East Coast right now. We're in Jersey, but we were in New York because Achar was doing a job. Now we're in Jersey. Uh, shout out to Aunt Teresa and Uncle Joey for allowing us to stay at their place here in Jersey. And we're going to finally watch episode eight so we can move on to season two. Uh, season three comes out, I believe, in February or March of 2022. So we're just trying to catch up before that drops. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're not allowed to show you too much picture in picture. If you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page, Patreon com slash jabby kawaii where you can watch the whole thing with us but you will need your own amazon prime subscription so you can open up the show in an adjacent window to our reaction so it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet uh, again we can't do picture in picture for the whole thing so that's why you need your own subscription uh if you're watching this on uh, patreon already thanks so much for supporting us here if you're watching this on youtube please hit that subscribe button bell icon all notifications and vote this up to let youtube know you're enjoying what you're watching all right let's jump into this here we go what is that oh okay Syria, Tal Syria. Tal Rifat. Tal Rifat. Tal Rifat. uh-oh Oh. Why don't you uh, go have a smoke or something, okay? I got this. Mm. You guys. Are the real heroes. You are the real heroes. <laughs> oh my god, I could have written this. Well, he always says that. He's a pompous jerk. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. That's that's the pompous jerk line, right? You. You are the real heroes. So, yeah, F off. Gentlemen. Oh. oh, yucky ducky. Of course they're playing this song. What's the song? Rock the Casbah. Ew. Oh, damn. Yuck. Oh, wait. Were those women? He's just killing indiscriminately. Oh, yuck. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to see that. That's fine. They might show it. Oh, okay. Ooh. God, look at his, like, the diabolical smile. laugh smile situation. All clear, boys. Mission accomplished. God bless America. What if they're, like, they were our allies? Found this. Compound V shit of yours? It mm. seems that way, Mr. Secretary. How did they get the formula? Yeah. Oh, Good questions. Billions of dollars of bleeding edge hardware. Do you know what all of that is as of today? Obsolete. Worthless pile of shit. Mm. And there is only one company that has the product to fight back. Oh, how convenient. You know, fleas are pretty hard to flick. <laughs> I don't know about you. What a good position to be in, huh? Vought are the ones that fucking created the cut. Yeah. I saw the proof on that. Oh, her proof. I fucking well rescued the proof from a basement. She's sitting on a bloody bog as we speak. <laughs> Vaught's manufacturing super villains. The story of the century. Don't you want a fucking Pulitzer? This guy. Yeah, I love him. Mm -hmm. Do you think one new girl is going to derail that? Especially coming from the fugitives that kill Translucent? Fugitives? Vought insisted and in, in the DOJ agreed. You're wanting men now. Oh, jeez. She's gonna cut her hair. Oh no, is her hair falling out? Is there, is there like a weird side effect? Oh no. No. Okay. I know. I watched one, um, District 8, or District 9 also. Oh. You cut bait and run for your lives. I'm sorry. I love it. I think that was the first time I heard him call them the boys. Whoa. That's the one under control, isn't it? Oh. We need to speed up. Mm hmm. Oi, what the fuck are you doing? We ain't, we ain't done yet. Mm -hmm. And you want to cut bait and run before we play the final card? Okay, what is it, man? Yeah, what is it? Hid this under my floorboards right after Daddy left. Thought that maybe he would come back for it, but it still smells like him. That's actually really cute. Yeah. It's cute that she hid that, hoping her dad would come back looking for it. Yeah. How old when you let them turn me into a freak? You're not a freak. A friend told me. Okay, she's still... <laughs> I was wondering about that. A boyfriend. How? They promised that you have a chance at an extraordinary life. 
What? God brought thought into our lives. Actually, a really good, like, logic. Yeah. I was happy to do it. This was our dream. This was your dream. Yes. I never got a chance to choose my own dreams. Yeah, you tell her, Char Kirk. I mean, Stage Starlight. Mom. Oh, my God. Annie, Annie, Annie. How come nobody chases anyone out the door ever? It's cold out there, okay? Pretty fancy bottle. <laughs> what, are we, uh, what are we celebrating? What are you talking about? The seven getting called up. Who's this dude again? The guy talking to him. It, well, well, he's moved out of town, and, and that's his, like, boss or something. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, it's been three weeks. <laughs> <sighs> oh, now I remember. Okay. I, I talked to New York, and you're not so much leaving. You're stuck, dude. I like that. It's a nice effect. Hmm. And the music just cuts out like that. I first noticed that in The Departed, with Martin Scorsese. Who's that? Oh, okay. Grace Mallory. I'm the founder of your little club. You're, uh... So? Uh. I need your help. Sorry, I can't. I'm hoping to photograph a snowy owl in the dunes. You fucking are me, goddammit. Did we find out exactly what happened to her, um... To her granddaughter? Yeah, to her granddaughter. No, uh, I guess she just died. Got killed. Mission got... Mission went awry, that's it? Yeah, like... Oh, she's becoming a girly girl. Dude, how long have you been in the bathroom? That's just, hair, that's rude. Her if hair looks nice. If there's other people out there just- Her eyelashes here, look right. Trying to have a poo or something. Her eyebrows are all like nice and neat. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna try talking, you can do it. Look at you, my girl. Oh no! Come on, lady. Ooh. I was like, she's, oh no! She's super strong, but like, Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. Damn, that's clear. Is that an elephant dart? Jesus. Yeah, probably. I mean, you're taking her out. Got eyes on her. Hide, hide, hide. Yeah, well, what's that going to do? What's that going to do at this point? Oh, okay. You're half out of the car. What are you, you going to do? Oh, your pretty nails. Oh, I hope they gave her some padding on her face. But then my grandchildren got incinerated. It tends to change one's perspective. She's grandchildren? Yeah. I think I've had enough sun for one day. That's right, yeah. Lamplighter got them and then... I don't know if Homelander has a weakness, but if he does... It's her. Mm -hmm. She'll know it. It's her. <laughs> now it's super healing, though. Yeah, you know, sometimes you don't get blessed with all the things, you know? Can't all be jabby. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Is that security guard looking at him? Yeah, I think. For a second, I thought I was looking at the girl. Yeah, you're damn right it's your mistake. I'm A-Train. I'm the fastest fucking man alive. What are you all fucking looking at? Upload to YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Meltdown. Yep. Superhero. Superhero loses his shit. Yep. <laughs> My mother's milk has a daughter. They want us to finish the job. Your job, not theirs. Yeah. Mallory's right. You're just going to drag us all down with you. Not me. Not anymore. What are you going to do about it? He's going to try to save her. Let's call her. Annie. You're a fucking pathetic cunt. You are. I think I'm doing this for her. Yes. Good boy, Huey. Ah! <gasps> too much sometimes you just gotta you know i mean i get it but also how's he gonna rescue them uh, the only way i think is if he calls annie oh yeah get get oh, yeah, get right. all smooth like a she dolphin don't let yourself go. it's a superhero you couldn't afford laser treatment <laughs> maybe oh yeah that's true i mean maybe he can't do that near his gills or something who knows Those, i know the, it, the gills make it seem like he's got like you know, six vaginas on his stomach. Yeah. <laughs> like. What happened? Oh. Oh. I was once offered by an ex-girlfriend to help her shave. And I said, absolutely not. Shave what? Her chocha? I said, absolutely not. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. He's going for it. You got one take. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, that crying's for real. He had really nice hair. That was his G.I. Jane moment. Or uh, V for Vendetta. Oh, he doesn't skip butt day. 
he must have known he was gonna be have to be uh, naked. I had to convince them that I was an idiot that you threw out and you used, and now you want me to help your psycho killer friends? You have 30 seconds to get the hell out of here. What are you gonna do? I mean, why the hell would I ever help you? <laughs> Humans are so weird. <laughs> Never gonna be the same again, dude. Oh wow, that's some. That's what you need to do for leg day, Jabby. Just pull a train. Yeah, I guess pulling cars ain't cutting it. <laughs> How's that chain not breaking? Welcome back to training. I feel fucking great. You're an idiot. How the fuck are you? Uh oh. You're using again. That extra had a nice rack. <laughs> what? <laughs> Had an extra who was walking up the stairs. Oh my god damn. I didn't even notice. <laughs> That's all I could see. <laughs> oh, this guy. We don't know an awful lot about him. That one too. Jesus Christ. This casting person. Mr. Edgar. Uh, I, uh, I didn't know you were going to come. Let me borrow you for a moment. He's going to offer a, her a cocaine lab. I mean a meth lab. <laughs> That's not the joke. <laughs> You're gonna need to move your office down to 82. That's your floor. And I'm gonna want you to start riding shotgun on my meetings. Amen provides. Oh, okay, hold <clears throat> it in. Will you excuse me? Just a second. What's she doing? God damn. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she looked good. <laughs> <laughs> Too much swag. Just throwing it all up. <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood for what? A pep talk. So you know what, be, just be original. For fuck's sake, my position is already taken. Us ladies gotta stick together. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know what you gotta do. Even though that was totally cliche, I liked it. Yeah, me too. I felt a little, a little bit of heat and moisture behind the eyes. I didn't know what you were gonna say behind the eyes. You've been avoiding me. No, I haven't. Ugh, you're such a liar. You do know that I went to see Vogelbaum, though. Right? Mm hmm. That was dope. That, that building design. Madeline. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did it ever occur to you that a soup terrorist showing up exactly when we needed him to was a pretty fucking incredible coincidence? Is he? Someone planned it. Oh, ha, 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 ha. You have a brain. Me. What? I made him. Oh. Some compound V. I had a train run it all over the globe, supercharged some jihadis. Wow. I did not expect that. Well, enough survived to call the operation a wow. huge success. Damn. Mm. Wow. We wow. have villains all over the globe. He's diabolical. Psycho. I did not think that he would have thought that up. She's not into it. Yeah, I can't see her face. She's pissed. Or is she happy? I don't know. Oh my god. Mm. She is turned on. No, she's faking it. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I am confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know for sure. Oh, maybe you're right. Take off your pants. Oh boy. Blackmail? I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't know. Let's just let, let it play out. It's so lovely. Was that the first time they did that? You think? I don't know. Wants me to move to the 82nd floor so that I can be closer to him. Still be my day to day, right? Yeah. Mm. No more secrets. He had his own secret. His was pretty epic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot. What is that? What did he do? I don't know. He's got something up there, maybe. <laughs> oh. Was this his plan? Oh, he hid something in his mouth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You came here. You meant to come here <laughs> without butcher. <laughs> Completely let you throw yours away today. I love him. <laughs> What's in the mouth? Juiceless feudal gesture I can't think of. Yeah, I, I got it. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, so this is your Come on, take it. Okay, one second. Come on, man, spit that bitch out. Oh, it's stuck it. It's stuck. Okay, okay, stay still. Wait, what? Stay still. Well, don't they have any cameras in there? Uh, come on, get up in there, French. 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's just gonna sting a little bit, all right? Sting? On three. One to three. Okay, well, if you count down. One. Four. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Yes, yes, good job. That worked. Wow, nice, nice. That stunt guy took a nice fall there. Cameras, I told you. I'm surprised they didn't have cameras inside that cell. Like, come on now. Maria. Someone's there. Who's there? Oh, it's but it's Billy. I've been searching for her cunt's weakness. He doesn't have any weakness. No. Yeah, you're the only thing he gives two shits about. You're his weakness. What's he gonna do? Yeah, maybe like I don't know. Procure some more guns. If you can. They only knocked out one dude. I know. Has he found her? Yeah, there she is. No, she's she's strapped down. <gasps> no! Oh, he's alive. He's alive. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man. Oh, okay. Fuck. Still, that's not good. Frenchy, stay down. Wait, what? Did you cover him. Wait, what? Cover uh, him. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't accidentally shoot your buddy, though. In in! Oh, how did he get in and out so fast? That's what he do. <laughs> oh, shit. Drop your weapon. Okay, 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 okay. On your, okay. Knees. On your oh, fucking shit. knees. Shit. I knew it. I knew it. I knew she'd come. I knew she'd come. That's a hero shot. Really? You're gonna try to take her down? Yeah. Come on. That's quite an entrance. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm a fucking superhero. Mm hmm. That's right. How'd she know where to find him, though? She heard all the action happening. <laughs> Who cares? She's there. <laughs> she has I love that she's wearing her, like, Traditional one? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh no. He's fast though. Can you get him? I got this. Go. No. No. I'm the one he wants. I'm not leaving you. Mm. You gonna get you gonna get killed, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He you moves do. really fast. Yeah. Like You got no you got no gun. <laughs> you got no powers. Dude. I hope it doesn't take you too long to power up, lady. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god, it's like a it's like a western. <gasps> Told you he's so fast. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get out of the way. Cross, cross. Oh no, 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 what's he? What's he gonna do? Oh! Oh, I didn't kill her. You did. But it was your fault. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, his heart's like gonna explode or something. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be way more dramatic. <laughs> Holy shit. What? What? He's overdosing. Oh, fuck. No, just leave him. <laughs> That's a bad dude. Oh, he's a good guy. Escape. He apologized to everyone that he killed. I have a code 7865. A train is down. I think he's had a heart attack. Why didn't she just use some electricity and, like, defibrillate him? <laughs> Huey, go. Or else you'll get caught. Come on, dude. But like when A Train comes too, she's gonna be in trouble. She can't stay there either. Should be all right. Two little words. Sparkles. <laughs> Stupid. And my trigger finger goes soft. Now. Okay, good point. What are you doing? Hey, look, mommy. You all right? No. Madeline. Take him upstairs. All good. I feel very unsettled. You are pretty darn impressive. I mean, especially for, you know. A normie. You promised me no more lies. So I went back to Vogelbaum and I managed to squeeze the truth out of him. Is that his son? Did, did you ever really care about me? You mean everything to me. 
No. Lies. Tell me the truth, or I walk out right now. I'm scared of you. Yeah, you should be. Thank you for finally being honest. Is he gonna kill her himself? You're like bracing yourself. I'm just like afraid he's gonna tear her head I off know, or something. I know, me too. It's like. <laughs> Why? He's just chill. Why? Why did he do that? I had a feeling she wouldn't make it past this season, to be fair. Ooh. Now what are you gonna Hold do? Hold the baby. Tell me he's got the baby yeah, please, in his hand. Yeah, please, 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 please. Like, if you've sussed it out. No, no, he doesn't have a baby. Or maybe he doesn't care about the baby. He got him out of there. He saved him. Why'd he save him? Wakey wakey. What happened to the baby? Save the baby too. Wow, look at this handsome devil. Well, that's his son. No. Becca. Oh no. We are a family. Oh god, this just got really complicated. Oh damn. Oh yeah, that's why he saved him, because he's diabolical. That's why he wanted to hurt him. You think that's what it was? Yeah. You just wanted to hurt him? That was that is that simple? Yeah. I think so. Hmm. Like what? What's he going to be? Okay, so now we're a blended flat family? I, I don't like know. I th he, maybe he just he well first off in the conversation he's like I like you because he, it's like I just see anger in you and he identifies with that characteristic of just sure. whoosh, whoosh, pure rage, rage, right? Yeah. And he like that's he gets that. Okay. And so but he understands that all of that rage has no basis in actual truth. That it's all based on assumptions that he made. And okay. he's like, okay, let me yep. educate you and put you on the right path and see where this takes us. That's like, I think that maybe, just maybe, that's what is informing it. I'm saying all of this without knowing anything about season two, obviously. And so I could be off on, a, on, on the wrong end over here. But it, he saved him for, a, it can't just be diabolical. I think he's pretty diabolical, though. So then I mean, what? Then he just kills him in episode one of season two? That doesn't make any no, sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. But okay, so, okay. This is a guy who created super uh, terrorists yeah, and super, super villains yeah. so that he would have someone to fight. So he and purpose. here is another nemesis. Like, it gives It's his... not his nemesis anymore, though. She, uh, because everything he said in the kitchen was true. Right. But, okay, isn't it kinder to just let a man believe that his wife died as opposed to your wife is alive and oh by the way she has my baby and she just no, never ever told you while he is evil and dark as a mother flipper right yeah he's all about the truth for some odd reason like he has this weird uh code right yes yes he does and have so, a code yeah uh even though he misled everybody with that whole airplane story he has a code which is the, like it's all about the truth and so he's like, here's the truth right there in front of you. I didn't, I didn't R word her. I didn't grape her. She wanted me. Do you think that's really true? Do you think like she actually really wanted him or he, yes. he, because in the footage that they showed us, I don't know, it's up for interpretation and we'll find out more information in season two. But when she came out of the room, it didn't look like she had just been graped. It looked like she just was feeling ashamed. Maybe. I don't know. It's a, it's, you know, you could project any emotion onto that. You, you have no idea. Maybe it was the, the kind of thing where he did grape and, uh, and, but she, the thing is she had, she was pregnant and she had no choice but to deal with that. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm more inclined to believe that he assaulted her and then like, you know, who knows? Well, we'll, we, we'll we can, find we can, out, we can speculate all the yeah. long day, but as it is, that's a powerful ending. That I mean, that, is that was really very powerful. unexpected. It was also very low budget and clever because he, he pulled the trigger and it just went to white. You didn't actually see a house blow up. They saved a lot of money by just flashing to white. I thought that was really clever. And you just assumed in your mind, like what exactly happened? 
happen. Right, He's right. fast as a speeding bullet. He got the baby and well, I, we didn't see the baby, but he got dude out of there. He got Butch out of there. Yeah, like I, I don't, I don't think that he actually cared about the baby. Um, to me, he probably, he probably just made it all seem like Billy blew up the house and blew up Stillwell and her baby in the house. So now there's something else a- against him, you know. And it's very convenient because she'll have burned up in the fire, and there will be no evidence that he blew a hole in her sure. head with his eyes, right? Yeah, and it's nice and clean. But wow, that ending. I was heartbroken for Billy at that point. Like just the way he looked, like yeah. the look of realization of like, holy shit for the past five years or however many years, it's not five years, the kid's clearly like older than five, but for the past several years, you know, he's been on this mission. This has been his life purpose and he clearly loved his wife Mm -hmm. so much. And then she's still alive and she didn't even bloody tell him. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, the thing about it is as people, we can become loyal to our own denial. Sure, yeah, that's true. Very, very loyal to our denial. And that can lead us down a very, very bad path of uh, mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> Doing the wrong thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a very good ending. I liked it. I thought it was good. I, I, I like this episode a lot overall. They, yeah. They hit us hard with the uh, the violence at the top in order to, like, let you know, oh, it's still edgy. But then, like, the rest <laughs> of the episode is actually just a lot of drama. And I yeah. actually liked that. I, yeah. like, I like the emotional and psychological stuff of this show a lot more than the action. I think that they do such a good job playing with the rules of superheroes in this very dark, gritty universe. J- just in terms of the banter and dynamic and, and, and like the ongoings of everything politically. Like, I think all that stuff is so profoundly interesting. Yeah. More than the action sequences and whatnot. It, I mean, it reminds you, it, it, let's say for some stupid reason, episode eight was the first one you walked in on. You know right away all, all about Homelander. Like, he is diabolical he is ruthless and he has this soft spot for blondie and then if you just came in on this episode you'd actually be able to assess a lot based on the dynamics of the characters and whatnot i think i think they did such a fantastic job with the with the writing in this show for yeah. season one yeah um obviously obviously i have no idea what happens in season two yet but or the upcoming season three because i haven't seen the trailer yet but i just thought overall the writing was so strong in this show i was reminded yet again just how consequences are such a real thing in this show they do such a good job with that, and that stuff gets largely lost in a lot of action movies these days. Even well, What like, do you mean by consequences? Like When someone dies, it means something in this show. Again, I mean, I'm reiterating something I've said previously, which is um, Huey, when he lost his girlfriend, that looked like just a joke in the trailer. Like, oh, look what happens. Right, yeah, yeah. And, and, but, but that has been like, the, the, that's the thing that propelled him on his path in this whole show. Even though he doesn't have any superpowers, I thought it was cool that he, you know, uses ingenuity to figure out how to save his boys. I thought that was nice. And, yeah. Uh, he, he managed to get away and he re, he, re, he patched things up with Starlight. I thought that was cool. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen with Starlight after reviving um, Speedy. A-Train. A-Train, yeah. We have no idea what's going to happen there. Overall, I just thought this was like on its own. This is a fantastic episode. And for season one, I, I actually really liked it. I mean, I, was, I feel very satisfied with this season. It did things in such a way that it's like, you can kind of make up your mind. Let's say there was no season two or three. Like you can kind of... M- Use your imagination where it goes from here, right? Yeah. You can have a positive or a dark ending in your mind. But I think that on its own, it's actually really strong. And it's not that often that you can say that because all too often I'll, I'll watch a Netflix show. I love Netflix, by the way. All too often I'll watch a Netflix show that I get really get into. And then in the last 30 minutes of the last episode of the first season, I'll always have that like niggling feeling of like, oh, they're not going to give me any satisfying ending. Right, it's, there's it's, no sense of closure yeah. because all they're trying to do is hook you for the next yeah, season. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's what they did for you with The Witcher. Yep. They did that for me with... Um, I don't want to, I, I don't remember. Like there was a Netflix show that I really got into and then I just, was, I threw my hands up in frustration because I knew that they were just setting me up for the next season. That can be very, very frustrating sometimes because I'd like to have a satisfying closure for at least this chapter, this book. Well, it's a nice closure. Like it was an amazing reveal, but mm-hmm. then also it still gives you the possibility of, like you said, like where can this go yeah. in season two, but it doesn't leave you kind of with blue balls going, yes. ugh. I don't feel satisfied. Right. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, So I just want to commend the writers, the producers, the director, like, and the acting. I think the acting was very, very strong. Stellar. Yeah. Um, So yeah, I'm a big fan of this show. 
Yeah. Uh, and that is much to my surprise. People closest to me are very shocked that I like the show as much as I do <laughs> um, because they know my feelings about violence in cinema in general, violence in film in general, and like its use. And it's very prolific in this show. Yeah. But I think it's done in such a way to positive effect in terms of moving the story along or letting you know who these characters are, are you know, like what they're about, what who they are. Well, I think that's the really cool thing about this episode as well is because we're reminded of who they are. Like, I loved how they had Huey help A-Train, you mm -hmm. know, because that's who he is. Yeah. He he is he's just, just a goody he's just a goody two shoes. He's yeah. he's a bleeding heart. He's a nice guy through yeah. and through. Like yeah. he's he's out there shooting people up with a machine gun and going sorry 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 yeah. sorry. Like you don't see that. And the thing that I liked about the violence at the top of the episode was that you know like you see Homelander come in and he does the like X ray eyes and we've seen that so many times with Superman right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you never see the consequences of what that might look like. When when someone gets incinerated or mm -hmm. cut in half or something with that laser eye power yeah. you know like when you, when you watch when you watch any sort of superhero show it's always like PG-13 and you don't really see the violence so graphically right. but if it was happening in real life like yeah it probably would look like this maybe not as like you know edgy out there like right. you know because it, it's for entertainment right. as well but you know it's definitely a really interesting spin on on that well i mean with superhero films you generally are inhibited by you know one of two things either they have this code where they don't kill anybody yep. or the person they're fighting when they try to unleash hell on that person is so powerful that they can't kill them in in, in a way that is uh disgusting right <laughs> you know what i mean yeah uh, and, and so yeah this is a show where obviously they get you get to see the full extent of their powers and it can be really gross sometimes mm -hmm. and it lets you know just how dangerous these these people would be in real life. And so, I mean, that's that's part, part of the whole point of the show. Anyway, I, I really liked it. I, I enjoyed the, the shit yeah, out of this. Loving uh, the I, characters. I, um, the, the only, I guess, complaint I might have, and this is not really a complaint. I'm just looking for something negative to say at this point. Um, why? Why, Jabby? Why? Because I just like it so much. I'm just trying to find something to say. Uh, the only thing the only thing I can say is that nothing in the music stood out to me as like something I, like a, you know, like the Wonder Woman theme. You know, yeah, they, yeah. they don't have that, but I, I do appreciate the soundtrack. Choices. The soundtrack's fun. The, the soundtrack's been really yeah. fun. Like, I like the music choices. Yeah, the, so sound far. The, the soundtrack is fun in a Tarantino kind of way, you yeah. know, or Scorsese is probably just as good an example. And Scorsese is like the king of choosing great songs for film. I enjoy it in that regard, but I, there's no like score from this and you know it being a superhero thing you, there should be a score that is like quite memorable and there isn't one and that's not you know that's this is spice girls it's a, it's a uh, creative choice on the part of the producers the director whatever and it's not really a complaint it's just me saying some shit so uh you guys i really enjoy this hopefully you did too uh do subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell icon all notifications and vote this up to let youtube know you're enjoying what you're watching if you're watching this on youtube if you're watching this on patreon thanks so much for supporting us here very very much appreciate it y'all i'm jabby kawai this is achara kirk peace out